Hey, the barn with the thing with the symbol from the farm where what's her face lives. That's the same barn symbol. They were hollering at that empty tent you folks have display. Ha! Hey, if you ever need someone to stay in there, I've been in worse positions. They thought we were people and there were people in there. Ha. Do you know? At first I thought it might have been a Hudson walking up to visit. I heard him working on his boat just a bit earlier, before the storm started. But then I saw the stranger's limping gait and the young woman with him. I knew it couldn't be. I invited them for a glass of bourbon, which they politely declined, so I just talked to them on the porch for a bit. Well, that's nice of him. What did you talk about? Oh, we talked a bit, a bit about the neighborhood. I told them about the Hudson and the sailboat, and the nice young couple in the greenhouse, and the charming Dr. Truman who used to live here. They were very interested in him, but of course, well, I don't know where he went. Do you know, I don't believe either of them had ever set foot on a houseboat before. I don't know that the older man had ever seen an ocean, in fact. It has always been my fondest dream to retire on a houseboat. That's why I accepted your offer and moved in here. It isn't perfect, but whatever home, what home ever is. I only wish this house would sway a bit. I find that it settles my nerves. Well, if we have another storm like that last one. Damn it, where is Dr. Truman? This is a weird museum. It's going to take a while to walk over there. Here we are. Yeah, they came by and knocked on the window, and we had a bit of talk through the glass. I would have come out, but, you know, shady characters. Really. It seems suspicious. I already told you, weirdos walking around door to door asking about Dr. Truman this late at night. I told them what I know, but in this weather, what do you know about Dr. Truman? I told them. He moved in here with the rest of us when you folks brought up the neighborhood, and then one day his house was gone. That's all I know about that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Well, I'm learning some things about Dr. Truman. Is this a... What is this building? supposed to be. That's weird. Is it like a bunker? I heard them banging around out there and I just stayed quiet. I don't know what they wanted. I just put my headphones on and tried to ignore them, to tell you the truth. Yep. That's a bunker. Bunker blaster. Can I go over to this train car? I don't think I can. What a strange community. But, uh... I can't find Dr. Truman. Ugh. Oh. Huh. An elevator. Or something. Oh, they're waiting for Blue. Come on, Blue. There you go. It's very loud out here. Sure is a good thing I have my umbrella. Stay close to me, Shannon. Oh, you're, you're falling behind, Shannon. What the hell? That was a giant eagle carrying something. Oh, Shannon has her own umbrella. That's great. Hello. Ivy. They wouldn't come in, just rushing around. You could tell they were worn, and it was pretty late at night, but just rushing around. What's with the giant eagles? What? Well, there was some urgency to the older man's injury, so it's understandable. How was he injured? His leg was twisted or something. He held it while he walked. He made these painful little sounds in his throat. Uh, how? I don't know. I didn't ask. It would have been rude, I think. Well, we just don't know. I suppose we never will. Huh. This is very loud rain. I heard a shout from downstairs. The old man had stumbled in the rain. I stayed inside with the lights off. There's no sense in my getting involved. Ah, uh, what a jerk. I don't like him. 
seems to be very dangerous with having this open chasm right here. Whatever. Or, I didn't see or hear a thing all night. I was in the back doing inventory when they came by. I got 30 cases of candles in, and each one of those has to be individually labeled, you know? But I heard some form of other neighbors that they were, weren't up to any harm, just passing through. This is a large community of very tightly knit people living in a museum of fake houses with fake rain. Why are they having fake rain? Or, no, it's just a, it's an open roof. What's this guy doing? Hey, it's Ezra. That girl was talking about this person. Ezra, there you go. Oh, you're talking to us. I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? We've got a couple of them at the shop, but this is the only one that runs. Oh yeah, with a truck, you've got to keep it up. That's why me and Julian don't use a truck. We just carry the houses. And that sounds very impressive. Yeah, it's a big job. Me and Julian take them down out to the forest every night, and then we bring them back up at dawn, just before the museum opens. This doctor... Why do you take them to the forest? This museum is an old place to live in during the daytime, but not so good at night. Folks can't just sleep in a place like this. Or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take them out to the forest to sleep, and then bring them back in the morning. And Dr. Truman is in the forest already? Yes, ma'am. He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him out there a few nights ago, but he didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. Can you tell us how to get there? You have to follow the Green River way out east, and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. But Moulin, me and Julian can take you. We're just about to go anyway. I've got to call him over. <coughs> uh, I need to drink some water. I can't do that. Yeah! Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. I dig it. Whoa. Oh. Neat. Okay. This is cool. I like this. This is awesome. Notes. I need to go to the forest. You have to follow the Green River way out to the east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. East is this way. Green River. And hop over Lake Cumberland. Hey, Quasuils. Hey, farmhouse. Here's a green river. Small figure. Wait, I want to look at the small figure. Go back. A tiny gray figure walks along the side of the road, carrying what appears to be a guitar case. He is followed closely by a smaller shape. A dog? Yeah, I know that guy. He looks tired. I need to go to east. East. This is a very hard to guide thing. Yeah, this is a mine. Oh, okay, follow the river. I'm doing it. This is a very windy river. Rivers do wind. Elkhorn Lake, I'm guessing. It does look like a horn. Neat. A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuff its limbs into a smart blue surf, and trugs just slackily out of view. That's weird. Oh, this is Green River Lake. Is that where I go? And then hop over Lake Cumberland. Nope. Follow the Green River. This goes way far out. Far out. This is a weird game. I don't think this has been addressed enough. This is a very strange game. You know that? Are you aware of this? How weird and kind of cool this game is? Where the heck did Lake Cumberland go? 
Did I miss it? I'm confused. Is this Lake Cumberland? Hey, Lake Cumberland. I am aware of you. What's this? Is this the forest? It is! Oh. What happened? Those are very loud. Oh. Who am I? Oh, am I the, the guy who put on the suit? What is this? No, that's blue. Why is blue there? What's going on? I can't go this way. This is weird. Who am I? Oh. That's cool. I'm that... I'm the kid. Ezra. This is beautiful music again. This is beautiful. I just noticed that this bird isn't really behind or in front of anything. That's really confusing my perspective and like this blue background right here is the background but the bird is behind it and in front of it over here and right here the bird is behind this. That's really weird. It's okay, just take it easy. I've just gotta close I'll just close my eyes. I don't think that's a good idea. Just take me... Just take some strain off your leg for a minute. And then we'll keep going. Why is... Why is this delivery so important to you? It's my job. Yeah, okay, I get that. My dad used to say I was born with a soldiering iron... With a soldering iron in my hand. It's all, just always been who I am. Hey, Blue. How did how did you come to be with these people? Nah, I know. You probably met on a farm or something. I bet the lady fixed tractors. Well, I'm gonna go find Dr. Truman. Oh. Your music is beautiful. Take care, weirdo with the weird weird hair. Hey Conway. See you later. Oh, hey. You're back. You look like you gained some weight. There you guys are. Shouldn't be much farther now. I think I see where the settlement ends over there. These woods go on forever. Well, no forest goes on forever. At some point, there's always a road or something. A parking lot. Don't act so defeated, okay? I just need to rest. We're almost there. Dr. Truman will have some nice catch for something you can rest on, and some medicine or something. I don't know. Yeah, we'll be alright. Hold on, man. Have you ever been over to the lake? It's really deep. Me and Julian fly over it all the time. We can see all through the water. Man, I bet it would be so cool to have a giant... Eagle? What is with the perspective here? That's not just the eagle, that's the building too. The tree has the house on it. That is so weird. Like, it's... That is so weird. I can't believe I didn't notice that sooner. This place is weird. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. This is friggin' weird. Hey, man. You lost that weight. Good job. I'm very proud of you. Hey, buildings. You're flashing in and out of existence. You're weird. Hey, there's that car. I know that car. I mean, kind of. Do you have any family you're close with? Brother or sister? Kids? I have a brother, but I wouldn't say we're close. What does he do? Hmm. Oh, man, I can choose... 
some kind of banker. Kind of a jerk sometimes. Yeah, I know the type. You never talk to him? Uh, he's too good for me, I guess. I doubt that. I guess I was always closest with Weaver. As close as someone can be with a girl like that. She was always on her own wavelength, but we were at the same age growing up, and everyone else was so busy. When she disappeared, I got pretty angry, and then I guess I just stayed that way. Never really understood her, but I know her. She's lonely without someone. It's lonely without someone like that around. Sorry, I'm... You're a good listener. You're doing great, Conway. Keep it up. I don't know where that car is. You have a way of falling behind, don't you? Don't be sad about it. They always wait for you. They do. You're a great dog. Dog that I can't see. Oh, there you are. You have a cool hat. God, that's so friggin' weird. Hey, house. Bye, house. Hey, hi, weird house. Bye. Hey. Where's Conway? Oh, he's inside with Dr. Truman. Are you coming in? Sure, I'll come in. Dr. Truman lets me watch TV sometimes. My folks have never watched TV, but I like it the way it looks. I like the way it looks, too. I fix TVs, you know? Whoa, cool! A TV scientist. I bet you make a lot of money. My folks had a really nice house. Bigger than any of these houses. But it made them worried all the time. Then the bank took it back. So we had to sleep at the bus station, but I couldn't ever get to sleep. So I just went out to fly around every night with Julian. We flew really far, and we never got lost. But when we came back in the morning, they were all gone. They just left you? I don't think so. All of our stuff is still there. Maybe they got lost somewhere. Let's go see what's on TV. That's what that said. Oh, thank God. I finally have someone to fix my leg. It's been too long. Whoa, this... This house is inside outside it's freaking weird dr. Truman finally and yeah I think that next interview is when I really realized how badly they had me but how else can you pay for medical school I have college friends with debts that you can't expect to pay that back unless you're planning to sell painkillers on the side or something or you know some kind of administrative thing I don't know having seen what my what arthritis did to my grandmother and my best friend in high school destroy his wrists building synthesizers. I mean, he was like 17. Ailments of the joints and limbs just seemed important to me. I hope that answers your question. Getting a scholarship with pharmaceutical company had a lot of strings attached, but at least I have somewhere to practice, even if I have to follow their market trends a bit. And hey, thanks to all these seminars, I'm an expert on the medical uses of Neuromol TM, so it's not that bad. Neuropnol. So how about that leg? What had happened exactly? My leg was crushed by falling rocks. Ah, crushing injury. Yeah, those can be pretty bad. Everything gets compromised and there are a lot of little pieces to... You know what? Never mind. Let's take a look. How bad could it be, right? Yeah, good point. I've been walking on it for many hours. Ezra, what are they singing about? They're singing about going home. That is what that song was. Yeah, they're singing about their home because they're lost right now. It's a scary song. It's scary, but they can still sing about it. Your friend's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? But it's nothing we can't handle. You might have a few things to look out for in the future. Be a bit gentler with the leg and the way you walk, but you'll be okay. I've dealt with similar cases before. So the anesthetic we use is called Neuropnol TM. It's pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases like yours. The way it works is, I'll count backwards from five to start the process. Then we'll just have an effect, have a normal conversation as the Neuropnol TM takes effect. Then I'll get started. I had that kind of thing when I got my wisdom teeth removed and they put me to sleep for a while. They were like, alright, I'm gonna, we've given you the, the stuff that'll make you fall asleep, now count backwards from ten. And I told myself that I'd be so sure that I'd be able to count backwards from ten and keep myself awake, I was like trying to challenge myself, because I was like, I'm stronger than this medicine, I'll stay awake. And I started to count backwards and I was like super focused, and by the time I hit seven, 
I was completely out, and then I was asleep. So that stuff is no joke. It'll put you out no matter what you think, because you can't think. It's pretty interesting. Cool. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Uh, so let's talk about billing for a moment. The pharmaceutical company I'm contracted with was recently acquired by an energy company that has some different standards for Oh. 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 I remember reading that this game is in five acts. I guess they're not finished with it yet. Shit. Uh, it's a good game. I can't wait to read the next three parts. That was awesome. It had beautiful music and cool art and neat things and an interesting story and people were crazy because the world they lived in was awesome. Well, uh, I'll go look up on whether or not Act 3, 4, and 5 are even be working on. I hope they are. I don't know how well this game is held done. I don't know, it's on Steam, so it did well enough, I guess. Well, take care, and, uh... Give Blue a treat if you get the chance. He needs him. Got to go home, boy.